Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do the hanging warp trick in Final Fantasy XV. It's an exploit that allows you to infinitely benefit from the hanging warp point HP and MP regen. Now I fully expect this to get patched out, but as of right now, December 14, 2016, it is still working and can be utilized to help beat certain enemies such as the Max Angela Zero or the Adamantois with much greater ease. Now before we go any further, I highly recommend you head over to your ascension tree and spend a measly 12 AP in the recovery tree to get the bonus HP regen from the hanging warp points. This will definitely be what makes this trick all that much sweeter. So in order to show you how it's done, I've recorded some footage here. I'm going to do some uh, play and pause action with that, so lower quality, video quality itself, but it should make it a little bit easier to explain. So basically, what you're going to want to do first is get that point from the Ascension Tree, and then you're going to want to fight enemies near a place that has a hanging point warp. Now when I say a hanging point warp, it has to be one where, well, Noctis is hanging from the point waiting for you to give another action. Not one of the warp points where you stand on top of something that will not work for this trick. So here, I'm just north of Hammerhead over by the Water Tower trying to farm some Max Angela Zero, and we have an Imperial Dropship come in. So as the Imperial dropship comes in, I'm waiting, hoping it's going to be Max Angelus, whatever. And the hanging warp point is going to be on that water tower over on the left. So sadly enough, it opens up. It's not Max Angelus. It's a bunch of Magitek assassins, though, which is really good. So what you're going to want to make sure is that you're facing enemies that can actually deal damage to Noctis. If you're facing enemies that do like two, three, four damage, this is really going to be a lot harder because you're going to need the missing health in order to benefit from the buff itself. So, uh, they come down, I start fighting them, but immediately they start wailing on me. Now look at my health in the bottom right. You can see I've lost a huge chunk of health at this point, so what do I see? A little warp point up there. Alright, as soon as I break free, we'll teleport up to the warp point. Now, as you can see, this, these are the type of warp points that I'm talking about. And if you look at Noctis's uh, character bar in the bottom right, you'll notice it has the little star. That means I'm benefiting from the hanging point regen. Now that's going to disappear in a second when we do the trick, but I'm going to keep the regen as a result. So once you're hanging from this point, you're going to want to open up your tech bar over on the left. So you need at least one tech bar in order to do this. I have Prompto's Piercer, Ignis Enhancement, Gladiolus, Dawnhammer, whatever. I'm going to use Prompto's Piercer. It's my favorite one to use for this trick. Now, an important thing here is to make sure your target can survive the initial hit. If you kill them in one hit with Prompto's, in this case Prompto's Piercer, then it disables you from doing a follow-up attack. And you need the follow-up attack in order to make this trick work. So we're going to pick Prompto's Piercer on a full health Magitek Assassin. So as you can see here, he hits him for about 8,000. Okay, he's still alive after that. That's important. He needs to survive that single hit. And you can see we get the follow-up counter on the screen right now. So I press it, and bam, I follow up with it for 10,000 damage, kills the Magitek Assassin. Now look at my health in the bottom right. You can see that I no longer am benefiting from the buff that actually gives me the hanging point regen. But look at my health regen as a whole. As you can see, it stays incredibly valuable. And also, every time I'm using warp strikes, I'm almost immediately gaining the MP back. As you can see, watch my MP as I warp strike around to kill these enemies. You'll see how quickly it comes back. This allows you to utilize warp strikes infinitely, whether it's for travel, whether it's for killing a boss that you find warp strikes are more effective against, breaking body parts, whatever that might be. In fact, you're going to get to see me do a little bit of a styling on some of these saber tusks over here. So look at my MP again. Watch this. I'm going to get into combat with these things. One, two. My, my MP is refilling before I even land both strikes with my Zwill Crossblades. And there you go. That's that's the hanging point warp trick. Uh, I, I've showed this on my stream and a few people asked me to make a video explaining it. Again, I want to reiterate, this is an exploit. This is not something I expect people to use in speedruns because I fully expect it to get patched out. But if you're somebody who's just looking to kill the Adamantois or Max Angelus or any, even the, the optional side dungeons, if you want to use this trick for that, this should help you out immensely. Just remember that it will go away if you load a save file. So if I load, if I, if I save my game and I load right now, even though I'm standing right here, it will cancel out the trick and I'll have to do it again. I've also heard reports that if you teleport really, really far across the map, like if I were to fast travel all the way to Ravito, it might also fall off then. But for the most part, it only falls off when you load a save file or close the game itself. So as long as you don't do those things, congratulations! You could just zip around the map with all of your teleports as much as you want, or you could just use it to AP farm with the shield for, for all I care. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think of this trick. Go and replicate it if you want to see if it's still working, and we'll see when this gets patched out, hopefully in the December patch. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for our next Final Fantasy XV video. Until then, take care.